Hello and welcome here. A key DCEU artist Jay Oliva has revealed the original plan for The Flash and its sequels. Before another filmmaker intervened and changed the project's course, several directors took their hand at directing a version of The Flash. The Flash was almost a whole different movie before Andy Muschietti came along to develop a Flashpoint adaption with Michael Keaton as Batman and Sasha Kaye as Supergirl. It may have eventually resulted in a more accurate Flashpoint version, which would have revitalized the series. After directing the 2013 animated film Flashpoint Paradox, storyboard artist Jay Oliva worked on the storyboards for several DCEU films. In an interview with Inverse, Oliva talks about an earlier iteration of The Flash. Oliva claims that The Flash, directed by Rick Famuiwa, would not have been a Flashpoint remake. It would have been an introduction tale that built to a Flashpoint conclusion instead. Olivia recalled that Rick's movie was going to be a series of films, just like Aquaman. All of those movies, in my opinion, were intended to be trilogies. In addition, the storyboard artist identifies Professor Zoom as a crucial DCEU figure who debuted in The Flash by Famuiwa. He said, Rick's movie was laying the groundwork for Zoom as the big baddie of the DC universe. It was Professor Zoom pulling the strings because he had come from the future to basically F with Barry. In the Flash movies, Zoom would be the villain in the background. But also in the ancillary other films, you would see some of the influences of Zoom on the rest of the Justice League. The Flashpoint threequel was supposed to completely rewrite the DC Extended Universe, according to Rick Famuiwa. The DCEU's culmination, supported by all of the existing characters and plotlines, would have been Famuiwa's Flashpoint, opening the door for a franchise-wide reset. Olivia also said that everyone who was friends is now an enemy, and it's a world you don't want to live in. You may start over with a fresh cast and reboot the universe. Because performers must go on to something new after 10 years. Looking back, this concept feels like a farewell for the majority of DCEU characters that is much more heartfelt, especially for Superman and Batman. So why the plans for the Flash movie were changed? According to Jay Oliva, Rick Famuiwa's proposal for a Flash trilogy appears to be a more cogent strategy for both Ezra Miller's Barry Allen and the DCEU as a whole. The Flash and other DC projects that were in production at the time, however, had to continuously adjust to the conflicting reviews of DCEU releases. While Wonder Woman earned positive reviews while Justice League turned out to be a critical and economic failure, Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice and Suicide Squad split viewers. As a result, the franchise's ideas had to be substantially altered, and The Flash was unable to achieve its full potential without a common universe to build upon. Soon after leaving the project, Rick Famuiwa, The Flash battled for a long to find a replacement director. Andy and Barbara Muschietti joined the project as director and producer, respectively, after several rewrites and a number of unanticipated challenges including the COVID outbreak and Ezra Miller's contentious conduct. Andy Muschietti, who is still working to adapt Flashpoint, opted to incorporate Ben Affleck and Michael Keaton's Batman into the narrative. After several setbacks, The Flash now had a compelling enough plot to continue filming. Although it would have been possible for different directors to create a unified Flash trilogy that would have adapted the Flashpoint plot and included the entire DCEU, the franchise's logistical challenges made it challenging to settle on a specific idea, let alone on setting up more sequels and tying them into other aspects of the DCEU. The Flash would have probably been a very different movie, and Rick Famuiwa's ambitions for The Flash would have resulted in a drawn-out, complicated multi-year adventure for Flash and the Justice League, had the DCEU kept on course during its early phases. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.